Hello, I'm Graham Bray of Easier Internet Marketing and welcome to Affiliate Marketing 101. Now just to put this in context where we are, what I've done here is put together a series of videos and the whole point of the videos is to get you started in the wonderful world of affiliate marketing. Now this is the third video in the series and in this one we're going to be focusing on Clickbank and in particular we'll look at the figures involved. Let's think about where we were previously. Now, previously we discussed the five aspects involved in affiliate marketing. What we've got, we've got the product, we've got the market, we've got the site, marketing, and then having done all this, we simply rinse and repeat it. We're particularly interested here in the product, and last time we were discussing how we can start doing our research in ClickBank. The research can be broken down to five components. We've got keyword searches, domain names, Google competition, ClickBank products, and niche selection. Now in this one we're particularly interested in ClickBank products. Remember last time I told you how to get to ClickBank, how to log in? Well let's go to ClickBank now and see what we can do. So here I am in the ClickBank front page. I've already logged in, used my um, name and password, I've logged in there, and I'll just you do the same. Once onto this page, simply click on Marketplace. and The Marketplace will open up on the left hand side whole series of categories. So down here we've got the categories. I'm particularly interested in health and fitness. So what I do, I click on here and that opens up a whole range of subcategories and then from there I selected one. And this is one I'm particularly interested in, the truth about abs. Now I've known this one for a long time. The guy who um, owns this is a millionaire now. He's sold many of these. So it really is one well worth looking at. So let's focus upon the truth about abs. Now what do the figures actually mean? We can see here you've got top here a heading, you've got some information about it and down here the figures. Let's start first of all at the very top. Now by clicking on this link here you can go straight and have a look at the affiliate website. Let's have a look shall we about Truth About Abs. Now this is it. Not much to look at but I'll tell you that um, the guy who owns this is now a millionaire. It must be pretty effective. But we're not interested at the moment in this bit. Let's go back to where we were. Now what we're interested in are these stat figures down here, stats, that's these figures here. What do they mean and what should we be looking for? Well the first one is initial sale in dollars. Now it's the average amount that an affiliate earns for each sale of this product. Okay, so it's the sort of um, amount you can expect to earn if you become an affiliate and if you make sales. The next one, average percent sale, 75%. Now this is the average commission rate for all products produced by this vendor, not just Truth About Abs, but all their products. You may find that the, um, the product you're interested in has got what's called an average rebuild. Now what this is, it's all about membership and subscriptions. So the figure only shows up if you've got um, an affiliate product that involves a membership or involves a subscription. And again, this figure next to it only shows up if the vendor offers recurring billing products and it shows the average commission rate earned only on rebuilds. Now the one we're really interested in is this one, GRAV, short for gravity. Now this is a unique ClickBank calculation that takes into account the number of different affiliates who earned commission from this product in the past 12 weeks. So what do the figures mean? Well, if you get a high graph and this one here is very very high. High graph means lots of affiliates earning money and that's a really really good thing. The downside is that if you've got a high graph there's also lots of competition out there of people promoting the product. So what about low graph? No, low, low graph is great in that it suggests there's little competition for affiliates. The downside however is it may be a brand new product that hasn't been tested yet or it may be a product that isn't converting well. So what recommendations can we make if you're looking for an affiliate product? Firstly, focus on products with a gravity of 30 plus which means it's got a proven track record. And secondly, look for commission percentage in excess of 65 percent. And please avoid low cost products. If you're going to go for affiliate product that's worth say two dollars you're not going to be very profitable selling that. So look for a good value product. Okay so we've been looking at product selection and as we suggested one way of selecting the product you want to sell on your site is researching Clickbank and we've said before they're looking for high grav and commission in excess of 65 percent. 
Now another way to find a product is perhaps to start from very basics. What is it you're really passionate about? What is it that's your niche? So in the next video, what we're going to do, we're going to start thinking about, okay, we know the ClickRank products are available, but what are we really interested in? What really floats our boat? What are we passionate about? If you go back to the wheel, remember, the niche selection, there it is, it's one of the research bits. So, so far, we've done ClickBank products. In the next video, we're going to look at niche selection. Okay, I hope this has all made sense to you. If you have any questions at all about ClickBank products and the stats behind them, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Here is my site, www.easierinternetmarketing.com. I'm Graham Bray, and thank you for watching this video.